at it. I went to joint camp at the end of July and learned all about what was going to happen and what they were going to put in for the prosthesis and how the surgery and the after was going to go with physical therapy and things like that, which was invaluable information. They did a very good job at the little joint camp. So we scheduled the first surgery for September 12th and I had my right knee done. And then two months later my left knee done, the middle of November. So I spent those eight weeks getting my right leg strong again. Plus at joint camp they have you start on exercises, building up your muscles and your tendons, doing bending and stretching and things like that to get your muscles and your tendons in shape to be able to go through the surgery better and have an easier rehab, which joint rehab is no is not easy. It is not a walk in the park. So I was prepared. There is pain. You can't do a joint without pain. There is pain. But we also collaborated on, you know, what you can and can't do afterwards and physical therapy, these people here at the rehab are fabulous. They had to teach me how to walk again. I was walking with a duck walk. They had to teach me totally how to walk again. They worked hard on balance with me. Balance, getting all of those muscles and everything strong and so you don't fall and hurt yourself because there are consequences. <laughs> if you do, the last thing you want is, an, is a revision. So they worked hard to getting full mobility back, full flexion, full extension, good balance, got me into exercising again, which I'm still continuing to do. Very important, if anybody is going through this, I recommend totally you learn they pass around the joints, you learn what it looks like, what each of the pieces do. I know I don't know as much as how they put them in as what to expect, how they work. Um, I don't know if the physician, if they go into it, what the physician actually does <laughs> when he's in surgery, but you do learn a lot. You do learn a lot. And you know, they can't do each individual person as to how long your rehab is going to be and what what each of you can expect because there's a wide range of people that get new knees. I mean some coming in wheelchairs, some you know let me walk in. One guy was gonna a couple weeks after his surgery was going to be climbing a tree and going deer hunting and I'm thinking to myself you might want to rethink that. <laughs> but that's where you go find things out. That class is invaluable to anybody having any type of knee, hip, any joint revision. So that is a very important piece of the puzzle. We met, we talked, we collaborated, our, you know, his expectations of me and what my role was, my expectations of him and what his role was, everything was discussed thoroughly. And, you know, like I said, the water skiing, you know, everything. So physical therapy afterwards, how much time off of work I was going to have, and because I am an ICURN, and my physical expectations are higher in my job. He has kind of a tendency to make your rehab a little longer because it is all physical. I mean, we push people in their beds down the hallway with all their apparatus with them. We move and turn three, four, five hundred pound people in their beds, you know, and a lot of that is knee work. So, he, yeah, he very much was in tune to me, my needs, and his expectations also. He didn't want me having a bad experience either, so we're both on the same page. <laughs>